It is said that when St. Dominic saw heaven in a dream, he was broken-hearted to see no saints of the order of preachers standing before God. Feeling pity, the Lord told him, I have entrusted your order to my mother. When Mary opened her cape, he saw many Dominican sisters and brothers safe under her special protection. Dominican Sister of Peace Toma Swanson created Under Mary's Mantle, which imagines this divine event. This video version of her artwork celebrates the feast of our founder, St. Dominic de Guzman, on August 8th. From our founding of the First Congregation of Dominican Women Religious in 1822, it was God who called us to religious life. In the two centuries since, Dominican women religious have moved across the nation to serve the people of God. The gifts of the early settlers in Kentucky and your charity today help us continue to serve the people of God wherever they are. Everything, even sweeping, scraping vegetables, weeding a garden, and waiting on the sick could be a prayer if it were offered to God. Our sisters preach Christ's gospel in many ways. We welcome and walk with new Americans, helping adults learn to read, write, gain citizenship, and working with youth to help them build peaceful communities. We care for the ill and the elderly. We serve the poor with food, with learning, and with a hand up to a better life. We offer spiritual guidance and help to run parishes and parish ministries. Our work, always in service to God and God's people, speaks as eloquently as our words. Will you support us in this work? Today's religious sisters were well-educated professionals before discerning their vocations. The Dominican Sisters of Peace have eight women of various ages and cultures in formation to become vowed religious. Academics, medical professionals, administrators, and even a former prison guard. Your support and prayers help us to meet women where they are and walk with them as they enter religious life. The Dominican Sisters of Peace see the face of Christ in everyone we meet. Jesus lives in the refugee, the hungry child, the man seeking spiritual guidance, the woman learning new job skills, the elderly sister to whom we offer companionship and compassion. St. Dominic responded to the needs of his day by creating an order of preachers. The Dominican Sisters of Peace continue to respond to the needs of today with the tools of today. Our sisters offer spiritual counseling via video chat. Women join Zoom calls to talk with other women who are discerning their call to religious life. And we reach tens of thousands of people daily with prayers and reflections offered through our social media and our website. Join the conversation by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. St. Margaret, although blind and lame, served God's people through the power of her prayer. Today, we remember our retired sisters at our care centers in Columbus, Ohio and Springfield, Kentucky, at our Great Bend Infirmary in Kansas, and at our Lord's Care Center in Michigan. Every day, our sisters minister to people by offering prayer for the needs of the world. Thank you for your contributions toward the care of our retired sisters. We are grateful for their lives of service to God's people after decades in active ministry. You are my companion and must walk with me. For if we hold together, no earthly power can withstand us. These are the words that St. Dominic used when he first met St. Francis of Assisi. And they are the words that we use when we consider you, our friends and supporters. Your prayers, your service, and your donations help us continue to minister to the people of God. When we come together to do God's work, we are, by God's grace, unstoppable.